Hi guys and welcome back to another Misfit Makers Besties tutorial. This week we are doing the Buffalo plaid tumbler and I chose Christmas colors because Christmas is right around the corner. So I hope this tutorial helps. Make sure you check out the discount codes and links down below. And as always, hit the subscribe button and enjoy this tutorial. Hey friends, make sure you come check out our amazing Facebook group, Misfit Makers. It is a wonderful community to be a part of. Also check out our website. It is where we put all of our upcoming merch and some of our featured besties. Okay, today I am starting out with a 32 ounce plump from the Steel Magnolia and I just prepped it with some Rust-Oleum seaside blue make sure your tumbler is completely dry before handling it because you will use you will leave some fingerprints on there if not next i'm going to go in with my painter's tape and i just cut off some little strips and this part i'm really eyeballing make sure make sure your painter's tape is straight at the top and since I, I first tried to line my painter's tape up, my one inch painter's tape, really close next to each other, but they weren't evenly once I got all the way around. So I then decided to leave just a little bit of a space and it worked, okay? I promise if one little square is a little bigger than the others, nobody's going to notice once we get all the glitter on there and our lines. Next, I'm going to remove every other piece of painter's tape. So then you're left with your even squares. Okay, now I'm going to take some long pieces of painter's tape and we are going to line this tumbler up right where your leftover pieces are. So I'm not even removing that piece because I didn't want to, I didn't want to remove the little piece and then forget where it was. So I just left the little piece and then put it, put the longer piece right over. I'm going to drag my piece of painter's tape just right over the edge because I knew at the end I wanted to do like an ombre effect up into the buffalo plaid, but you could totally take your buffalo plaid all the way to the bottom of your cup if you wanted to. You are, it's going to be a little bit of, a little challenging with this curve, but you could totally do it. Next, I'm going to take some small pieces of painter's tape and go all the way down my cup now. Just to the end, just that little hump in the middle of our cup, our little ridge, okay? And then same thing here, we're going to remove every other piece of painter's tape and do the same thing. We're going to now wrap our painter's tape over. How many times can I say painter's tape in a tutorial? I think painter's tape should like sponsor this video. Just, just saying. <laughs> okay. Now I'm going to wrap it all the way around my cup, trying to stay even all the way around. And then we will remove that first piece at the top. And again, we're going to do this every other one. So then you're left with that, that plaid effect. If your tape removes a little bit of your paint, it's okay. We will touch it up with some acrylic paint or some chalk paint before we go in and glitter it. That's why I was saying make sure when you spray paint and prep your cup that your paint is super dry. I used a gloss spray paint, so I would recommend using a flat or a satin, and more than likely you won't have that issue where your paint is ripping, coming up. All right, now this is the fun part. You get to pick your glitter colors. So you want to pick two colors, and then you want to mix those two colors to create your third color, okay? So I'm using Lost for Words and Diamond Mint. They're both from Peachy Olive. So to create that middle color, I just mixed the two the Diamond Mint and the Lost for Words, 50-50. And I wanted to use colors that were similar to each other, um, I just think it looks it looks really pretty and it's easier to blend if you pick similar colors. Okay, now I'm just using Mod Podge to go in and fill these sections up. You can use whatever adhesive that you normally would use. This is a project that you want to sit down and do all at once. You don't want to walk away because 
You don't want to leave that Mod Podge on top of that painter's tape. When you go to remove it, it will peel up your squares and you won't get those crispy, clean lines. So we're just going to do this all around the tumbler, filling all of those open, exposed squares up. Same thing like, you're, like you would with any tumbler. Make sure your adhesive is nice and smooth. If you have a lot of Mod Podge on your little square, you're not you're it's you're going to be left with like that clumpy look so you just want a nice thin layer of mod podge after you glitter all of your squares we're then going to go in and remove our tape that is going around our tumbler so our three stripes that are going all the way around we are going to remove those you should get nice crisp clean lines again if you you will see shortly that my painter's tape took up a little bit of my spray paint. That is okay. I promise once we go in and paint that, you will not even, you won't even notice. I meant to say earlier, also it is a good idea to prep your cup because if you start with a stainless steel tumbler, then you would almost have to paint each square so you would be double, doubling the amount of work that you would need to do. So I would just pick a color that is neutral, that goes with whatever glitter colors you choose. After removing those stripes of tape, we're then going to go in with our mixed color. So the two colors we mixed together, Diamond Mint and Lost for Words, we're going to go in and same thing, all of the exposed squares, we're, go we're going to fill in with our mixed glitter color. This is a little tricky because you're going in between the paint and two glitter sections now, but I promise it's not that bad. I actually found this really relaxing. I was nervous doing it this way with the tape. I really wanted to show you guys how to do this method with something that you already have. And I know most of us crafters have painter's tape. So if you are really struggling with this or you just, you know, want to take a different route, I won't say easier route because it's not necessarily easier, but they do make buffalo plaid templates that you could use. Uh, you could cut them out with just regular vinyl, lay your template, or you could use the cat scratch paper and do it that way. So find a method that works for you. But I just wanted to show you guys how to do it with the things you, you already have. Okay, so once you go all the way around glittering all those exposed squares, we are then going to remove our last pieces of painter's tape. Again, please do not judge my cup with my missing spray paint pieces. Okay. okay. <laughs> so now I told you I saved the hardest part for last. We are going to go in and glitter every other square, still using our mixed color. So we're going to start at the top and then work our way down. We're not putting our mixed glitter right next to our mixed glitter. Does that make sense? So I, I didn't start with the second square. I started with the top square at the top of my cup. So you can see the two squares next to that are my first color, my salad color. Hopefully that makes sense. It does in my head, so it shouldn't your guys' head, right? <laughs> okay, so every other one. And again, we're going to do this all the way around our tumbler. I told now this is a little tricky because we're not we don't have any tape so you just want to use a flat paintbrush I find that the easiest because you are going in and basically making the squares yourself so don't get crazy don't go into the next square try to stay in your square again small imperfections guys once we get the entire thing epoxied and add those final stripes you're really not going to notice so don't overthink this but using the small flat paintbrush that is shown, I have it on my Amazon wish list. You can use any flat paintbrush. It, it's going to make your life easier. So we're just going to go all the way around our cup doing every other square. The final step is our third color, our last color that we have not used yet. And same thing. Now 
we're going to do all the exposed square, squares. So you should have every other square exposed. And those are the ones we're going to go in with our Mod Podge and do the same thing. Once you start filling these in, oh my gosh, I can just see it. Like the entire design coming together. It's gorgeous. It reminds me of like a winter wonderland themed. I love it. I'm going to challenge myself in the next buffalo plaid I do. I think I'm going to do like a white and black one. I think that will look really, really cool. So let's do this all the way around our cup. And after you get that done, the next thing I'm going to do is glitter my the bottom portion of my cup and the butt of my cup. I wanted to use a chunky to ombre that up into my buffalo plaid. But little tip, guys, do a fine glitter and the same color. So glitter it with a fine glitter and then go in and do your ombre with your chunky. It's going to make your life easier. Then you don't have to worry about flatting, you know, patting down all that chunky glitter and getting a smooth rim. And I promise you, game changer. So again, we're going in with Mod Podge. I'm butting that Mod Podge right up to my glitter, doing the bottom. And we are going to glitter with pink, pink peppermint from Peachy Olive. Once I have this entire cup glittered, you want to make sure you seal it really, really, really good. So I went in with Rust-Oleum Clear Spray Sealer, and I sealed it three times. After that dries, I then went in with 40 ml of Epoxy CC DIY Fast Set. Let that turn for a couple hours, and then she was good to go. Look at that shine. Look at that shine. Ooh, ooh. So pretty. I am a, gosh, I love this cup. Okay, after your cup is nice and dry, make sure you don't forget to sand your tumbler and you clean up your rim. So you can kind of see my colors look dull. That's just from sanding. It's really important, guys, to clean up those rims and sand your cup after every single coat, even the first coat. Next, I'm going to go in and it's time for the striping. I wanted to do the striping first before my chunky glitter because I didn't want those stripes to be on top of that chunky glitter. I wanted them to kind of disappear and really get that ombre effect, if that makes sense. So this again, this tumbler only has one coat of epoxy. We're going to go in. I'm using textured vinyl from its Cricut brand you can find at on Amazon, Michaels, Hobby Lobby. The width of my stripes are 0 0.07. They're very, very small. I didn't want real chunky stripes because, again, this is supposed to be like an elegant, you know, design. I, I think the thinner stripes look better on something like this. So 0 0.07, guys. We're going to go all the way around our tumbler, squaring off all of our squares, vertically and horizontal, horizontally. We also want to make sure that if you're using similar colors like I am, the first couple stripes are hard to lay down because my colors blend together so nicely, which is good. But seeing that line, I'm like, wait a second, like I'm in the box. I'm not in the box. I'm around the box. <laughs> so just take your time. Make sure you have good lighting so you can really see your cup. Now, as you notice here, my width, my length of my stripes are not long enough to go all the way around these big old 32 ounces. I believe the circumference of these 32 ounces are like 12 and a half inches long and I'm cutting on my Cricut mat. So, you know, I, the length, I can only cut 12 inches. So no worries. You have to improvise. I just used another piece and I kind of pieced them together and you can't even tell. So we're going to stripe this entire tumbler. It is looking so good. You can leave it like this, but of course I wanted to do one extra step. I went in with my pale pink 651 vinyl from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. And I am doing in between the squares now. So you don't want to do in between every square because that'll be too much and I don't want to take away from it from my design so I'm doing in between every other square every other square so vertical 
vertically and horizontally. I don't know why that word is so hard to say. Horizontally. Horizontal. You know English is not my first language, guys, okay? <laughs> this pale pink, I think, goes perfect with this tumbler, too. The width of these stripes are a little smaller, so I made these 0 0.05 because again I didn't I didn't want my stripes to take over over my cup. They're just supposed to be like little accent designs. Again, you can leave this step off if you if you would like, but I I like the way this looks. Okay, so after all of your striping is done, then I'm going to go in with a sharp exacto knife and we are going to trim up all those overhang pieces at the at the bottom right where our edge is and so i'm just gonna again use a sharp exacto knife and trim up all of those pieces i after i do all my trimming so our striping's done our 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 trim is good you i i kind of like the way it looks without the ombre so you could leave it like that but you know i of course i still had to be extra so i still went in and did my ombre. Uh, I am then going to seal my vinyl really good. Anytime you're using a textured vinyl, a glitter vinyl, a metallic vinyl, any anything else besides 60, 651, you can even seal 651 if you'd like. Um, I want to seal it. For whatever reason, epoxy likes to repel those textured vinyls. So save yourself some time. Invest in a sealer. I love the quick coat from CCDIY. You can find a discount code down below. That bottle will last you forever. You just need a nice, thin coat. Um, we're going to go in and we're going to let that dry for about 15, 20 minutes. And then we're going to go in and epoxy it. I'm using CCDIY Facet Epoxy again. Now, after, after I get my entire cup coated with epoxy, I believe I used 30 mLs of epoxy here, I'm going to torch all my bubbles and then let it turn for about three or four minutes, let that epoxy settle for a couple minute, minutes. I'm going to go in and sprinkle my chunky glitter. This is the best way to get an ombre effect because you're doing it by hand. So you're placing that glitter exactly where you want it to be. I don't want to go in and just sprinkle my bottle all over my cup because I want this to be like an ombre effect. I don't want full coverage. That's not the that's not the goal here. So again, just sprinkling that into my buffalo plaid, you know, trying to cover up that that bottom line a little bit and creating that ombre effect. Oh, I love it. Love it so much. Here it is all shined up. Gosh, I love this. Okay, after that is cured, I, it is time to place our decal. So my decal is from Etsy. I will post the link down below. I'm using my same colors that I did for my striping because I wanted it to blend and match nicely. So I'm using that textured vinyl and the 651 pale pink. I did the offset in, in the textured vinyl. The transfer tape that I'm using is also from Vinyl Fun for Everyone. It is the best transfer tape out there. You can use it over and over and over again. I don't use the hinge method. I just use my my amazing eyeball method, okay? <laughs> and I place it right on the tumbler. After you get your decal placed, you want to make sure you use your quick coat and seal that again since we are using a textured vinyl. I also seal, I also use my quick coat anytime I'm doing an offset because you're layering vinyl. So I feel like you should seal that uh, to prevent your epoxy getting underneath your, your offset. Oh, I just, I love this cup so much. Okay, so it is ready for its final coat of epoxy. I'm going to go in with medium viscosity from CCDIY, do a final coat of 30 mLs, torch all those bubbles, and she's gorgeous. She's ready to go. I really hope this tutorial helped you guys. I hope all of our tutorials inspire you guys and help you out. Make sure you check the supply list down below for all those discount codes. Please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. 
and you are a part of our amazing community. We try to offer you guys the mostest, so we appreciate all of your support. Thank you to all of our Patreon members. We love you guys. Your support means so much. Voila! Bye, guys.